Good afternoon everyone, this is an update on the tropics for September 22nd, 2022. We have Hurricane Fiona nearing Bermuda. We have Tropical Storm Gaston in the far northern Atlantic heading eastward. We also have three disturbances here in the main development region and the Caribbean here. So let's get right into it. Here is the Tropical Atlantic Basin satellite imagery. There is Hurricane Fiona currently in a buzzsaw eyewall stage as you can see that is heading currently northward due northward right now uh and this is if this continues to head this kind of direction this could even lead impacts to new england now of course we do have the jet stream right here which may lead it to the northeast and maybe spare uh portions of the northeast there but you are going to see definitely some high wave heights uh, against the, the east coast again due to hurricane fiona rip current risks as well we do have the tropical disturbance invest 98l down here in uh, just to the north of south america and this will be headed through the caribbean potentially developing into our next tropical storm which would be named hermine and that could even lead up to the gulf bringing hurricane impacts possibly to somewhere in the gulf later on here in september we have two disturbances right now in the main development region we don't really need to talk about today because uh, they are leading pretty much no threat to land as of right now and really not much of a high chance of development here's the national hurricane center five day graphical tropical weather outlook there's invest 98l there is fiona and gaston and as you can see invest 98l in the red is now a 90 percent chance of development within the next five days and uh, noting by the national hurricane center uh, the environment is forecast to gradually become more favorable in a couple of days and a tropical depression is likely to form at that time the disturbance is forecast to move west northwestward across the eastern caribbean sea during the next day or two and be over the central caribbean sea this weekend now regardless of development locally heavy rainfall and gusty winds are likely to affect the windward islands northern venezuela and the abc island chain today hurricane fiona currently has winds of 130 miles per hour and a minimum central pressure down to 936 millibars uh, and that is still that major hurricane status. Tropical storm Gaston currently is barreling down to a tropical depression shortly as it now has 65 mile per hour winds with a minimum such pressure of 999 millibars. And that is moving quite fast, about 21 miles per hour. Uh, so Gaston uh, might be disappearing soon. We do have the disturbance three in the yellow, which uh, now has a 30% chance of development. And the orange has a 60% chance of development, but that is going to be going due north from africa here is a gfs model for the invest 98l and also gaston and fiona let's go on and move forward here as we head forward in time this is going to be around 12 a.m friday so uh later tonight tomorrow morning technically around 1 a.m uh tomorrow and as you can see it looks like bermuda might be spared from fiona as this does expect to head a little more westward of a path you may still see some strong winds and some rainfall but bermuda might be spared from the center of that storm now let's go ahead and move forward as invest 98l makes its way across the caribbean pretty much as nothing um really not anything strong at all until you get to early week next week around monday uh, morning this really starts to strengthen up into a tropical storm it heads straight into the gulf uh, goes right in between cuba and the yucatan peninsula and goes straight into the gulf possibly becoming again a hurricane uh hermine now, i've seen this trend with a lot of models here uh, which is quite concerning for the gulf um and we can even look at the european model and this is the european model as you can see pretty much just the same track uh, according to the gfs model a little more eastward and that actually goes over cuba uh, uh which probably would definitely keep it uh, below a major hurricane uh, but it then does enter the gulf which it could have time to again develop into uh, a hurricane or so um, and as you can see there it pretty much is the same track as gfs just a much more eastern track uh, we haven't really seen a western track at all here uh, with these models but again uh, we are still a week out from this actually entering the gulf so we're going to have to monitor it very closely and continue to monitor these models as they continue to change ever so slightly we can look at another model the cmc model and here's a cmc model which again we've seen a, a lot of eastern tracks lately a lot of uh, this morning and uh, late yesterday we've seen a lot of more eastern tracks 
uh, which is good news for the western portion of the Gulf, um, uh, but not good news for portions of Cuba and Florida. So as you can see, a lot of this CMC model and the European model uh, does have this uh, right near Florida or even making landfall in Florida. Now again, the path will change. Uh, it, it might not change much, uh, especially, but this is quite early. It hasn't even developed yet, uh, so we really don't know where it's gonna go as of right now. These, these models are just kind of telling us uh, that it might go here and it might go here, uh, but no panic, just kind of stay prepared uh, and make sure to keep watch on your on Invest 98L to see where it goes because it might not even go near florida uh we really don't know as of right now again we've seen these trends uh, with these models that do have this going into florida uh, just stay prepared and make sure you do have those emergency plans in place. Uh, here's the ICOM model, uh, again, another hurricane model, uh, and this has a extremely similar track to the CMC model, uh, a bit more eastward actually than the CMC model, but pretty much the same path as you can see, um, and it just kind of swipes the Miami area as a hurricane there, according to this ICOM model, but of course, we have Cuba in the way. That's going to weaken it. Uh, to the point where it could be even a weak hurricane at that point if it does go slowly over Cuba. Just know that if it does go over Cuba, that will weaken it and uh, that will be a weaker hurricane than it would be if it developed in the Caribbean. So just keep that in mind uh, if, that it, if it goes through Cuba or the Yucatan Peninsula, it will have a weakening stage there. But again, according, uh, according to these models, they are very similar. They have a very similar track here. It could either go into the Gulf it could either uh, make more of a northern turn or even a more northern turn here in Cuba. Again, Florida does look to be uh, in the kind of target area uh, for Invest 98L. So uh, those are the areas to prepare for. If you do live in here uh, in Cuba, if you live in Jamaica, if you live here uh, in portions of the southeast, now is the time to prepare uh, those emergency plans uh, just in case if this does head your way but we are going to keep you updated on invest 98l to see if it does head your direction if it does we will keep you updated constantly um with double uploads once this does uh develop into a hurricane if it in the caribbean and if it heads into the into the gulf we will have a massive amount of information for y'all but subscribe to the channel if you're new and turn on post notifications so you won't miss a single tropical update share this with friends and family that do live in the Gulf of Mexico, the Caribbean, or even Central America, you can tell Peninsula. Keep them updated with this information as much as possible. Like the video to get this information out. And also, as always, I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe.